Uh, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Quidash. I'd like to give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word in all true faith and sincerity. And today I just want to tie this lesson. He cried bitterly. And that's concerning the so called white man. So as you can see now, the Lord has stopped watering this man. Esau is now being put in straits. You know, it was a point in time the Lord had allowed this man to have his free course. He allowed this man to terrorize the planet Earth to deceive the, the nations. But we at the end of this now. You know, the end of his run. And this message, you know, that's going out, is what's letting him know that, man. And his reaction, you know, is him really crying out by the way of these draconian laws being passed. You know, the things that you see on the media, his rhetoric, you know. But at the end of the day, this man is crying, you know, he's weeping. And you're going to see, you know, it's going to intensify also when you see the military is at your front door in your neighborhood. When martial laws is uh, implemented, you know, and as well as a plethora of other laws and legislation that's, that's been on the books ready to be activated. And we're in a time where these things are going to take place. So, you know what, well, I'm going to start off with this in the book of Revelation 12. <clears throat> Revelation 12. And, um... In verse 12, it reads, Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. See? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. It does not talk about the spiritual being saved. This is talking about the physical counterpart, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He's the one that's going to come down having great wrath. Why? Because... He knoweth that he have but a short time. See? So is this man also is acknowledging that's a dead end of here. He's he's acknowledging that he's falling out of power, that time is ticking. Now he gotta look over his shoulder. And that man don't you know, <clears throat> no one likes to look over that shoulder. How much more uh this guy that has been, you know, uh terrorizing the planet Earth for centuries. You know, he was able to pitch a lie to you and the people a bite on it. Or uh, He was sent forth his military if, if, if that didn't work to later, you know, the people down. But what's oh, what's toppling this man's kingdom? You know, this word, this message. And, and, it, and it's, you, we actually seeing it play out. The decree of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. That the Lord sanctioned the abasement of the so-called white man and the uh, uprising of the children of Israel, man. This is the process that we're witnessing, man. And he, and he know, and that's why you see the the bitter crying, <clears throat> those bitter words. Matter of fact, let's get that in uh, Psalm sixty-four, Psalms. Chapter 64. And uh, I started once to hear my voice, O power, and my prayer preserve my life from fear of the enemy. See? And just just that in itself is going to make a whole lot more sense. Which it makes a lot of sense now. You know, but it's going to make a whole lot more sense. It's going to be very clear when all hell break loose during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. These are the things that we're going to be pleading that the Lord hear our prayer, you know, and preserve us from E, you know, from 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 the from the red the red devil, my, you know, which is the so-called white man, F preserve us from this devil, cause this man his technology 
You know, we don't have a standing army. We, you know, Lopez didn't give us the corner power, which that could have been an option to tell you that in uh, Surah 12. It wasn't like the Lord wasn't able to subdue our enemies under us. Uh, or he could have sent walls or wild beasts or even a rough word. And that's the thing that Lord, he, yo, he have used a rough word to overthrow this man. Come down, sit in the dust, and we sin and play out now. You know? It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. See, and they let you know, uh, <clears throat> dealing with the shadow government, they they always have, you know, uh, different plots and plans and schemes in the making. 10, 20, 20 years in the making. 50, 100 years in the making. And we now we seeing everything being summed up. That's why everything is in crunch, you know, being crunched down. You know, uh, he, he has found, a, you know, it's a, you got the face of the crown, which is the unjail, which is you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Natives. You know, this is all part of his plots, plans, and schemes. It says, who wet their tongue like a sword. See? Meaning what? Through these laws and legislation that this man passed, justifies him sending forth the military under different circumstances, such as a uh, medical martial law, or, you know, any type of, uh, if you, <clears throat> you know, you have different terrorist attacks or, like I say, uh, uh, some type of disease or some take place or, you know, or even dealing with that thing, if it's if it you know once it becomes mandatory, it's laws on the books that it's gonna be the military is the one that's gonna distribute it. Man. You know, but through their laws, it becomes the sword. It says, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. See, because really their cry is against us, man. You know, that's why they crying, because it's our turn to be blessed. It's our turn to rule, you know, and he don't want to hear that. Because him, us being in power, means that he's going to be in a base, a base. Just like how he's in power means that we have to be a base. Well, the roles are now, is we're in the process of those, the roles being reversed, my. You know? And that's why we're seeing this man in straits. He's hollering. Once you, you get hit, that your only reaction is you hollering. And he was cut by the, by the way of his word. And, and, and the word is taking effect. we seeing it play out. And we seeing his reaction. The, the draconian laws being passed. The rhetoric he pushed. The military, you know, you got uh, National Guard throughout Babylon. My, you know. You got, uh, like I said, it was a point. You had a series of videos coming out uh, of military vehicles being put in strategic spots in Babylon. Well, we're in a time now. It's, it's about to play out, man. You know? But it starts by the way of this word. This this is what's troubling him. Matter of fact, let's get this. Because what it said, we was running four times, was ran for our learning, man. You know? So this is um uh Saint Matthew two and I start at one. Now when Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. And you seeing that now uh until Yahweh was born when when Yahweh came on the scene in the spirit by the way of this doctrine. You know, pretty much starting with Abu. You know, until he's going to uh, say, uh, Elijah's going to return the heart to the father, the children to the fathers. You know, he, he started with him introducing us to Yahweh Shai. So that when the Lord was born, and then this this truth has intensified, it has increased. It have now reached the to the gates of the noble. It have reached the areas of these elites, you know, it says, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? 
for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. See, so that's the report. The king of the Jews, man. He's he's now on the scene with like I say it starts with the Dutch, but it's gonna it's gonna come in its perfection when the Lord actually returns, man. It says when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. See? So this message is troubling. And then say even Jerusalem. Because niggas don't want to hear this, man. They content with being, you know, unsuggestion under the so called white man. You know, being under the shadow of Esau, man. You know, but it says, um, he was troubled when he heard these things. And that's what you're seeing on the display now. You hear this report. The devil himself, the same nigga that's ruling, is getting a report that he's about to be taken out of power. By the highest power who conceivable, man. Yeah, how about some out shot? Because nigga don't want to hear that. Matter of fact, I think that's all. Let me see if that's in Jeremiah. Bear with me. Jeremiah 51, I believe. It might be 50. Bear with me, I can. Yep. This is... um. Jeremiah 50 and 43. It said, The king of Babylon have heard the report of them. See? And his hands was feeble. See? Because this message is troubling, man. You know? He have heard the decree of Yahweh by Ishmael Shai. That this place, the Lord have sanctioned that America to be overthrown violently. And then, oh, yeah, and that's just the beginning. When the smoke cleaner does settle. The, the the remnants that's left, you know, who the Lord uh, allowed to escape is going to, you know, dealing with these at least it's going to be uh, slaves, man. See, that was Esau, when, 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 when Isaac told uh, Esau that he, he had blessed Jacob, that's pretty much what he was saying. He going to be over you. He's going to, matter of fact, you know, Let's just get it. Genesis 27. And, um, uh, let's see, bear with me. Let me type it up. I thought it was 27. That is sound. Okay. Con. All right. Well, let me start at uh, this Genesis 27. And I'm going to start up, matter of fact. And, um. Uh, I just started 32. It said, Isaac, his father said unto him, Who art thou? And this is after Isaac gave Jacob the blessing and Esau came in. He said, Isaac, his father, stepped, um, said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn, Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that have taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten all that before thou camest and blessed him. Yeah, and he shall be blessed, see? So it ain't like the Lord reneged. That's the report. I blessed him. See, Esau, yeah, that's the that's also part of the report. He's he's rejected. Nobody nobody don't want to hit a no. You know? He don't want he didn't want to hear that, especially concerning this matter. He didn't want to hear no, I'm I'm a blessed. He's been the one that's gonna be blessed. And this is why you see the military being involved. You know, these draconian laws being passed. This is the only way this man 
could rationalize things out. This is this is what he came up with in the council. You know, the only way to so-called uh, work in his favor, he just got to kill us. You know? It says, And when Esau heard the words of his father, <laughs> he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry. See? And we seeing it play out once again in this modern time. How he crying out through his laws, his legislations, his rhetoric, what he put forth in the media. You know, showing his distress, his anguish. That he's pretty much... Uh, I said that he have been hit. Yo, when you get hit, you know, you getting smitten, your reaction is to cry, to react. And that's what we seeing. He's reacting from the decree of your house by Shemal Shai. It says, um, and when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a, see, a great and exceeding bitter cry. And said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. See? So, matter of fact, I'm going to jump down. And uh, I start at 40, matter of fact. It says, And by thy sword shall I... Now, this is concerning the temporary blessing of Esau to console him. Which, when you're really going to it, Isaac put a curse on Esau by giving him this blessing. It says, and by thy sword shall thou live. See? Which it tells you, all that that take the sword shall perish with the sword. You know, this is how this man uh, rationalized things. Like this, this is what dictate his walk. Oh, it tells they're continually gathered together for war. So this is going to be the very same thing, just like how he was brought into power through the, you know, the sword and wars and you know, terrorizing, you know, the planet Earth. This is why he's going to be finally overthrown. It says, And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when, they shall, when thou shalt have a dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. See? Which it starts by this truth, man. See, Esau hate that we woke up, that we got this understanding. Oh, that's why it tells you uh, when you go back to Revelation, the 12th chapter, who this, the, the dragon really going to come out there is the one that held the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. Because those are the true, those are the ones that the carriers of the birthright. And, it, and, and it's been. Uh, that uh, just like how you got to show an ID, what is this truth that's cementing that having this truth? It says, um, because it's going to grow into his profession, the kingdom, you know. But it said, Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing where his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. See. So this is, and this nigga, his uh, emotional, yeah, you know I mean, roller coaster. This is the only way he was able to rationalize things. You know, this nigga probably was, his eyes was red, swole, still got tears, shit running down, you know. And this is the thing he come up with. And the modern form of that is these secret councils. You got the Bilderberg, meaning, you know, Bohemian Grove and the plethora of other. You know, means what these uh, higher ups come together and conjure a plan to see what's the next step on their agenda, man. But it's all out of desperation, out of distress and anguish. Because ultimately, uh, they crying out because we the ones that's going to be blessed, man. You know? So, um, yeah, I might just hold it for edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kudash, double honors to the pots and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect that teach the word in our true faith and sincerity, DTA, Ababa, Ba. Soon, very soon. 
and dealt to you monsters and you demons, 